guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at one of my favorite filming spot locations because guess what? We have one big monster truck for you, and it's this vehicle right here. This is your all-new 2024 Chevrolet Silverado HD ZR2. I'm not done yet. Bison edition. But before we get into this large and in-charge off-roading heavy-duty truck, Let's talk about what's going on here. Trucks. They really have changed over the years. Once upon a time, they were just for work purposes. Now trucks can be used pretty much for everything. Now, if you wanted an off-road truck, a lot of times you would go with maybe a mid-size truck, like a Colorado ZR2 Bison, or the new Silverado ZR2 Bison. But Chevrolet did not want to leave the people that love their HD trucks, but also want to go do some off-roading in them. And that's where the ZR2 Bison edition of the HD Silverado comes into play. Now, what are going to be some key players in this segment? You're going to be looking at the F-250 Super Duty Tremor from Ford. Of course, we have the Ram Power Wagon, which is going to be another choice example and then of course there's the sister brand and the sister vehicle to this truck which would be the gmc sierra hd at 4 x but what i want to find out is if you're looking for the best new truck but you need to do some work stuff during the day but on the weekends you want to go have your off-road fun is this the better truck over say an F-250 Super Duty Tremor, let's go ahead, let's dive into this big bad bow tie and find out. Right off the bat, the sheer size of an HD, it really puts things into perspective when it comes to what a large factory production truck looks like. Now, if you're wondering, well, Joe, it looks like it's sitting a little higher. It actually has an inch and a half raise in the suspension over your other examples of the Silverado. At the front end, love the way they reshaped and refreshed the headlight housing, full LED daytime running lamps, turn signals. You have your double stacked, it's almost like a Big Mac version of a headlight design, full projector beam LED headlights. My one zonk, what is this? I would like to have some functionality with these corner vents, but they definitely did a good job kind of cleaning up the front end style, even though we do have some fake vents. Now, as we drop down, you're gonna have stamped steel, ow, hurts. Stamped steel front and rear bumpers. You do get LED fog lamps. Take out the fake venting here. This is not needed. We could just have this open for airflow. You're gonna have the ab ability to get your recovery tow hooks to pull those tremors out of the dirt, out of the mud, the power wagons, and then, of course, the amount of ground clearance in this thing is just ridiculous, especially with the way that they shaped the stamp steel bumper to give you a better approach and departure angle. And then underneath, you're not getting aluminum skid plates, you're getting stamp steel skid plates. Now, center grill area, for some reason, they don't give us a flow tie. It looks like it's gonna be a flow tie, but it's filled in but I still love the way that bow tie bounces off the grill. We have a forward facing camera and the required washer for it. And then the ZR2 badge, which Chevrolet does some great badges. Gloss black, full functionality. As we work down, work our way down, there it is. There's the Bison AEV, American Expedition Vehicles. They work with General Motors to make this Bison Edition and it is one heck of a beast. Man, this thing is bad. Now, as we rise up, you gotta take the elevator up to the roof level. You're gonna have a functional hood scoop for that Duramax turbo diesel engine with the Chevrolet name stamped in there. You got your big bulge of a hood and it's massive. I mean, this is like aircraft carrier size hood. And if you're comparing it to the front of the Tremor, once upon a time, I actually liked the Tremor F-250 better, but then with this refresh, I really think that Chevrolet hit the nail on the head. Now, as we come around, it's not just about different bumpers and skid plates. 
you're actually going to get a different wheel and tire setup. So I'm digging these gunmetal metallic AEV wheels. Love the almost rotary dial style to it. 35 inch Super Swamper tires. Of course, they're those Goodyear Wrangler territory multi-terrain tires. You can see all the shielding in the sidewall to protect it as you're going off-roading. And if you're wondering, this is an 18 inch wheel. Tires are 305 on the width, 70 series sidewall. Now, it doesn't just stop there. It's not just simply bumpers and some wheels. What else do we have going on? They redesigned the control arms, upper and lower control arms, and the steering knuckles. Plus, I'm gonna have Lori kind of zoom in and show the gold and blue multi-matic dual spool valve technology shock absorbers all four corners that is specific to that zr2 and the zr2 bison obviously retuned to do the dirty work of going off-roading and making you look like the champion that you deserve to look like now you'll see with the hood you do have of course that badging that has that allison 10-speed transmission badge, the Duramax turbo diesel engine, and then of course a ZR2 badge. Like the way it's prominently displayed and it's a good size. Now, you do have of course power extending mirrors and all that, LED lighting blended in nicely. And then we also have 360 degree cameras. This thing has more cameras than the freaking lunar mission of the moon back in 1969. More cameras. Love the way everything is blacked out. So you have your 2500 HD badge. We got some nice flared fender, nothing too big and bulky. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, how the hell am I gonna climb into this thing? Automatic electric dropping running boards. I love the way it's so seamless. They tuck nicely in and you don't have any dangly bits. You don't want to run around in the woods with anything dangling down. It's going to get caught on something that's going to hurt, and you don't want to hurt this truck. Now, working our way towards the rear, let me know how you feel about the gloss black door handles. I'm actually digging them on this particular one because it matches the 2500 HD badging, but let me know if you think if they should be color matched. I'm curious what you have to say about that. Now, one of the things on the HD, which is a nice addition that they do is they give you this side step so if you need to get into the bed you're able to get that side step action very easily and then you'll notice coming towards the rear there's our rear multimatic suspension fine-tuned on the deserts on the mountain trails absolutely amazing bison badge i think needs to be just a little bit larger because of this truck being so big i would like this to be a little bit larger but it is nice to have that bison badge You'll notice our massive, look how large, you can put a freaking grapefruit in here and fire it out of the back like a cruise missile exhaust. And then of course we have the stamp steel rear bumpers, our AEV badge with the bison, right above those stamp steel bumpers. And then one of the little touches that, I don't know, just kind of sets it off is the flat black portion of the tailgate. It just gives it that extra special look that lets you know that, hey, this truck is that one that I saw on Rady's Rides, that's a bad mamma jamma. Blacked out on the, of course, Silverado badge. We got LED brake lights. And then as we work our way down, I love the way that they structured what's going on back here. You have your spare mounted nice and high. You, of course, have your full tow capability. And this has an e-locker on that rear setup of the drivetrain. So that's gonna be able to get that nice grip that you need to get through the toughest of terrain. And then of course we have that multi-flex tailgate. So you can hit the top button and this portion flips down. Of course we could bring up the back portion. You could get your pieces of plywood, lumber, whatever you need. This will stop it from, from sliding out or you could just drop it like it's hot, the whole piece. And then here's where the magic happens. So you gotta go ahead and hit the second button and that's gonna drop that portion down. We hit this again. Now we have our step 
And if you're saying, well, Joe, I need a handle, guess what, we got you covered. Here is your handle. I don't know what this belongs to. Somebody obviously broke something, so not on the truck, thankfully. So we'll just uh, take that and just put that over there. If you notice, we put a pine cone in there just to show you how big the bed of this truck is. You could fit about 5,800 pine cones, pine cones or pie cones, whatever you got. Love the way we have all the toe down, tie down connections. You got all your hookup accessories. And then on the passenger side, we have our LED bed lighting and we have, of course, a home power source. So that's a nice touch. And we can't forget that power sliding rear cab window. Another nice touch there. But it's not just about what this thing could haul. It's also about what's underneath the hood. So let's go ahead, let's pop that ginormous hood and see what's underneath it. All right, guys, we got that massive hood popped. Please excuse the dirt and the dust. Obviously, we've been doing some off-roading and we're gonna need to clean that up before we give the truck back to Chevrolet. But they wanted us to put it through its paces out here in the sugar sand of Florida. But what do we got going on underneath that hood? You're looking at a 6.6 .6 liter Duramax turbo diesel V8 that's pumping out 470 horsepower, 975 pound-feet of torque. It's made it to that Allison 10-speed automatic transmission. Zero to 60 in this thing, 6.6 .6 seconds. That might not sound like a big deal, but guess what? The truck weighs 8,206 pounds. What's incredible is with the 975 pound-feet of torque, it comes in, peak torque, comes in at 1,600 RPM. Payload capacity, 3,397 pounds. Towing capacity, 18,500 pounds. So that's really where they bring the magic. And for the first time ever on one of these trucks, you do have exhaust brake. So nice that they have tuned that specifically for this application to have the exhaust brake, have all the things that come with a turbo diesel engine. But while we go ahead, let's fire this thing up and hear what kind of noise it makes. All right, guys, we are inside this 2024 Chevy Silverado HD ZR2 Bison. It's a mouthful, but I'm telling you, the size of this truck reminds me of when I was a kid going to the big sombrero where the Buccaneers used to play back in the day in Tampa and seeing Bigfoot crush a bunch of cars. I kind of want to do that in this truck. That's what it makes you feel. But I know you're probably saying, well, Joe, I need a truck to haul all my toys. And Joe, I'm not talking about GI Joes and Transformers. I'm talking about my collector car collection when I go to, say, the Amelia Concourse event or Pebble Beach. So I need a heavy duty truck, but you know what? I like to get a little dirty time to time and go off-roading as well. So this ZR2 Bison seems to be right up my alley Lay it on me though, how much is it? Well, I think you're gonna be pleasantly pleased with how this truck will perform. I have a feeling we're gonna drive it and go on throttle together. But MSRP, the way that this one is optioned with the ZR2 Bison package is right at $95,000. But let's see how it stacks up to the Super Duty Tremor from Ford to the door panels. You'll notice that two-tone style that's actually ZR2 specific. So you're gonna have soft touch material all around the top portion. I'm liking that gray, almost like fish scaliness of a design trim. And then with the ZR2 package, you get that highlighter yellow stitching, reminds you that you went all in. No gloss black around the switch gear. 
And then you'll notice that we have the Bose sound system with a giant speaker grill cover. And then you have the perfect place for easily 18 of those hot apple pies from Mickey D's and some flapjacks from them. And then a cup of coffee and a Coca-Cola to wash it down. Now going from the door panel to the dash, same thing. The two-tone is really working for me. I even like the highlighter yellow. Gives it a little bit of pop of color. If you're wondering, well, Joe, where am I going to put my Twinkies? I got you covered. Actually, Chevrolet has you covered. You have your official Chevrolet Twinkie box. You could put a baker's dozen of Twinkies in there. Keeps them nice and away from prying eyes and people that want a five-finger discount. You got more of that nice gray fish scale style trim here. I like the way it doesn't give you fingerprints. I'm also digging the dark chrome finish as well. And then on the side, if you're trying to be a little healthy and you want some potassium, you could put your two bananas in there so that you don't have to wear your banana hanger. So no banana hangers. You could just put the bananas there. And remember, one banana is two servings of fruit, the average size banana. So just be careful with eating too many bananas. Now come on in, what do we got going on here? You have a 13.4 inch infotainment system. One of, the, one of the best, to be honest with you. I love how easy it is to get through the navigation. If you need to shrink it and you wanna have a nice analog clock, you can swipe through different features to the right. If you wanna make it disappear, there it is. Cameras. I talked about more cameras than the lunar mission back in 1969. You got every which angle, including one of my personal favorites is watch this. If you ever want to see if somebody's sleeping in the bed of your truck, boom, right there. And then what I would do is, is just floor it and drop the tailgate because you actually have a button right here on the toggle switches where I could drop the tailgate, look at that, and watch them fall out the back. That would be some good video footage on Rady's Rides. Because they shouldn't be back there. Don't go where you're not supposed to. And then you don't have to worry about falling out of the back of a truck. Of course, you got all your full trailering capabilities, your checklist. I remember being a kid, my dad's like, did we hitch the chains up? Did we do this? Well, guess what? You don't need a dad to yell at you like I used to have yell at me every time we went fishing. You now could check it off yourself and nobody has to yell at you. So that's smart engineering from Chevrolet. And then to get back home, look at that. Easy peasy, all the apps you want, perfect. Working our way back down, we do have, like I said, the new exhaust brake set up. You got all the rest of your toggle switches. You can actually put all the windows down all at once. And you lock that rear diff. And you got hill descent control. And we have a real volume knob, which I better lower that so I don't get zonked for copyright. We have our column shifter, good old fashioned column shifter. Dual climate control, yes. This is how trucks come. Three stages of ventilated seats, three stages of heated seats, USB-A, USB-Cs. Let me shut that off. You have your little tackle box area, not for fishing. This is where you're gonna put your Long John Silver's tackle box. Get yourself some hush puppies, some fries, some fish sticks, or some little shrimp balls or whatever they have nowadays. Two cup holders, I'm liking the black chrome instead of shiny chrome. What is this for? This is for your phone. You just drop it in there and it's gonna charge. You got more two-tone style. And then watch this, you ready? Whoop. The party tray of the century. Fill up the center with nacho chips and then you can put a little bit of salsa, a little bit of guac. Mmm. USB-A, USB-C, home power source. And you have enough room in there to where you could put that, uh, that bust that you had signed of Taylor Swift when you were at the Super Bowl. You weren't worried about the football players because you're a Swifty and you wanted to have that little statue. Kind of weird, but you had that statue signed by Taylor Swift. Congratulations on spending $5,000 to get that signed. The seats, the leather, AEV, American Expedition vehicles with the bison, the stitching, the two-tone, the bolstering, you do have power assist for the passenger. Of course you got power assist for the driver. Duh. I'm afraid to do this. Standard size sunroof. $95,000 truck. 
I think I deserve more vitamin D or at least more sunny D than a standard size sunroof. So I would like a panoramic sunroof, but they finish it off right. Nice digital rear view mirror, clear as day. I could count exactly how many palm trees are in that parking lot over there. But you know what? It's not about the trees. It's not about the grass. It's not about the leaves. It's about the driving. Get your butt over here. I want to show you behind the wheel of this bicycle. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. You do have two memory seat settings, and you'll notice you get a nice ZR2 sill plate to greet you. And we have the Chevrolet all-weather protection floor mats. That's worth an extra five horsepower, and it saves the carpet from getting destroyed by your dirty feet. Love the way it's got the seat controls that are always within fingertip reach. I'm six feet tall, and I obviously fit in here. If you can't fit in this truck, you need to call the Guinness Book of World Records because you are one tall person if you can't fit in here. Just saying. Steering wheel, leather wrapped all the way around. I like the way it's got a nice blacked out bow tie, everything cohesive in design. Of course, it's a heated steering wheel, flat black on the switch gear a little bit of metallic gray finish. And then on the sides, you'll notice this is where we have our four x four controls, our different modes, including trailer mode, and then our light controls that are really easy to get to. Remember, we have that two-speed transfer box, which is gonna get the power to the ground, manual tilting and telescoping wheel, and then you have that beautiful 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster, a cornucopia of information in the center there, all the driver assistance that you could ever need, when it comes to safety, your diesel exhaust fluid, you can even have a blank page if too much information stresses you out. So I kind of like the way you have all that information and there's a massive HUD head up display, which is clear as day and once again gives you great information. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the back seat because your passengers are gonna be spoiled with all the room back there when you're going off-roading in this massive bison. All right, guys, backseat time. And any Silverado heavy-duty truck you get in the back of, or really any heavy-duty duty truck from any of the brands is gonna have a ton of room back here for your passengers. I like the way they have large pockets. Easily get two personal pan pizzas in there, especially if you read your books and get your little stamps on your Book It Club. You can get your two personal pan pizzas. We got two drink holders two stage, excuse me, three stages of heated seats, no ventilated seats, which I think is a zonk for $95,000. What is up with the world's smallest AC vents in this big truck? These are like the size of postage stamps, but at least there's AC vents back here, USB-C, USB-A. I got plenty of room here. What's also great is that you're gonna have your padded armrest, two cup holders. Flip this up. This is a perfect area to put those things that you want nobody to find. So say, for example, I know I was a master. I was probably the master when it came to finding where my parents hid the Christmas gifts. If my dad or my mom, which she wouldn't have a truck like this, she would have continue to have her big station wagon. She loved her big station wagon. But if my dad had a truck like this, he would be smart to keep the gifts in here and I would never find them. So if you have kids, this is the best way to hide the gifts because they'll never guess. They don't want to go out to dad's truck. They don't want to go to work with dad. I used to love to go to work with my dad because he owned a mechanic shop and I love cars. Makes sense. One extra area for the special, special people in your life, that's where you could put those extra expensive gifts. And it was actually GM that came up with this backseat storage. I mean, what a great way to use space behind the seat or inside the seat for storage. But guess what? It's that time. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go see if we could get this ZR2 Bison a little dirty and go on throttle. All right, guys, we are inside this 2024 Silverado HD ZR2 Bison. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and went from too high to four high and I locked that rear e-locker. And we're gonna take this off-road through the sugar sand here in my neck of the woods of Florida and see how this big, brash brute of a truck is gonna handle the goods. So if you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, here we go. So you got that low down torque, 
from the turbo diesel setup in here. And it's just crazy that a over 6,000 pound truck can handle the business. I mean, this sugar sand can really get certain vehicles stuck very easily. But with those Goodyear all-terrain tires, of course, the Multimatic suspension, and all of the tuning that they've done to this truck, it's just amazing how easy it is to get the job done. Now, of course, being a heavy duty truck, this thing is quite large, but it's actually fairly easy to drive, which is awesome. Are you ready? We're gonna go through the sippy hole. Gotta go through the sippy hole. Here we go. Sippy hole time, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! And that's really the joy between behind being behind the wheel of this truck is that you just are able to put it wherever you want, even though it's super large. You know, another thing that makes this truck phenomenal is having all of these great cameras, getting all of the angles that you need out the front, out the back, every which way allows you to navigate even though you can't see what is directly in front of you. Because let's be honest, that hood is out there large and in charge like an aircraft carrier, but boy, the resolution and the clarity and the size of the image that you have on that over 13 inch infotainment system screen really makes life very easy. And we're gonna go back through the sippy hole. Here we go. On throttle, yeah! <laughs> I tell you, it's like this is what Chevrolet is about, bringing that off-road fun, but yet still having the work truck there. I mean, the fact that this thing could tow as much as it does, the payload capacity, and everything else in between. I mean, like I said, this sugar sand is not something easy to navigate in, but this truck does the business. You got the skid plates, whoa, <laughs> to protect the underside. And you got those stamp steel bumpers, front and rear. The Multimatic suspension though is what really is the uh, shining gem in all of this. I mean, to be able to drive this on the road and be comfy, but also be able to go off-road in it and it's not like you gotta put it in a special mode, you gotta do all these special things to get it to do what it does, it just does it. They know how to get that perfect suspension tuning with this dual spool valve technology. I mean, it's, it's quite phenomenal how it allows you to be confident, stay in control, and then you just go on throttle, here we go. <laughs> Woo! Look at this, yeah! Ah, oh, love this truck. <laughs> and it's a big freaking heavy duty truck, 2500 series. Nice. Back it through the sippy hole, here we go. Sippy hole time, yeah! Down and dirty, oh wow, wow, yeah! It just takes it. It just takes it and takes it and takes it. All right, guys, we got to go through the sippy hole one more time. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. On throttle, here we go. Yeah! <laughs> I can't even see. Wow, this thing is freaking a beast. Look at this. So easy, so easy to navigate into place. That's what's so incredible about this truck. It's not necessarily the torque, it's not necessarily the transmission, but boy oh boy, this thing really gets the job done when it comes to off-roading. But we're gonna get on-road and then wrap this one up, so let's get to it. So I went ahead and put it back into four high. I shut the e-locker off for the rear diff and uh, now we're gonna go on throttle again, making a U-turn. On throttle, here we go. <laughs> I tell you, this truck will shock the heck out of you. It's like a shock and awe effect because of how it performs. Not only 
off-road, but then also on-road. The Multimatic suspension does a great job of damping all four corners that uh, it really allows us to be a perfect daily driver uh, and then also do the business of towing and all the other goodies that you're going to probably do with this thing. But uh, I'm hoping that this has been good to show you the off-road side of things. Of course, just like any other Silverado HD, getting to that massive infotainment system screen is well within reach. I love the way Chevy has their uh, push button 4x4 system. You don't have to use a decoder ring from a Captain Crunch box to get it into four high or four low or whatever. You got all the freaking amenities in here. So you're gonna be pampered like never before in any kind of off-road or heavy-duty truck. Uh, and then you got the, the killer look. I mean, let's, let's be honest, it just looks badass. But we're gonna get back to where it all started and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a Silverado All right, guys, it's been a wild and wacky day as usual here on Radies Rides with this 2024 Silverado HD ZR2 Bison. Definitely wanna thank Cody and the rest of the team at Chevrolet for getting us access to this press fleet vehicle. Let me know what you think. Has Chevrolet and AEV done everything that you could think of to a heavy duty truck to make it the extreme supreme off-roader or are you gonna go Ford F-250 Super Duty Tremor? Let me know in the comment section because I know Cody and the rest of the Chevrolet team is curious what you're thinking. But if you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Rays Rights family. Can't do this without the most important person in definitely my world and everybody else's world, LG Rady, Lori Gibbons Rady, working that camera like a champ. Thank you, Lori, for your excellent camera skills and your great attention to detail. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.